It's another Tuesday, which means I'm going to share with you five Unity tips. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hi everyone and welcome. This is Omar Balfagi. And today I'll be sharing with you five useful tips. And this time the tips will be on your script. We'll be using the attributes. They're simple but really useful. Before starting out, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, hit the subscribe button to get more of these game development tutorials. And let's go ahead. Tip number one. If you're using a component in your script and you want to make sure that whenever you use that script, the component will be there, just go on top of declaring your class and then use the required component attribute and then type off and then just pass the required component. In our case, rigid body. Save it and go back. So if I just drag the script, it will automatically add rigid body to it. Tip number two, you can add a mini component here to add your script. So we'll go back, add component menu, and then here just the path. So it will be component throwing and then throw me. Save it and go back. So if I got a component, you'll see throwing and then throw me. Tip number three, you can add headers to your variables by using the header attribute and then just type the header title. Save and go back and you'll see a header here. Tip number four, to limit your variable by using a minimum and a maximum value, you can just use the range attribute on top of your variable. And then you pass the minimum and the maximum. So if you go back, you'll see it here. Now we have a slider starting from one to a hundred. Tip number five, you can call methods outside of the play mode using the context menu attribute, just on top of your method, and then just pass the menu name. When we click that, it will call this. So now if you go to the gear icon, you'll see it here, random power. It will give us a random power. And that's it for today. These were five useful Unity tips. I hope you found them useful. And to get more of these game development tutorials and tips, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you know Brackies, they're doing their second game jam. So I strongly suggest to go and participate. I'll do my best to participate as well. And let's make awesome games together. So this is Omar Balfaki. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.